Welcome back to another video you guys. We are here at my shop in Park City, Utah and you guys already saw the title and the thumbnail. We're going to be washing this Rolls Royce Ghost right here. Now this is a 2012 Rolls Royce Ghost and I thought it would be really, really fun uh, for me to show you guys what I do every single day. Six years ago I opened a mobile detailing company here in Park City and every year the company's continued to grow and I've continued to learn more and more things about detailing. So I thought it would be really, really fun for me to bring you guys along step by step in my wash procedure. Now when you wash a car you can, do, you can do it however you want. This is just how I've done it and I've learned to make it very efficient. Everybody washes cars a little bit differently so I know my style, not everybody's going to agree with it, but this is how I've been washing cars for years and I think it's pretty efficient. So we're going to go through those steps. So the very first thing I do is I get the car, obviously. I have the car, I have the keys. We need to gather all of our supplies. So I'm gonna quickly go through the list of equipment that I use and that you guys may need. So starting off right here, we have my power washer. Now this power washer right here is a Yamaha one. I bought it at Costco about a year ago. It works fantastic. And I added a 50 foot hose on here so I can wrap all the way around every vehicle I detail. So I use three buckets when I wash cars. One bucket right here with all the tools in it is my wheel bucket. I leave all my wheel tools in there and that is specifically just for the wheels. Now the other two is the traditional two bucket method. So one bucket's gonna be full to the top of clean water and the other bucket is gonna be about halfway with soapy water and my wash mitts. These are my preferred wash mitts. You can use whatever you want. You can use the mitt version that goes over your hand or these. Now I'm gonna drop that in that bucket right there. These are my preferred wheel tools. Now right off the bat, I'm just gonna go through in no particular order. This is my tire sidewall brush. I scrub the sides of the tires with that. This is my uh, wheel woolly and I go in and clean the barrel of the wheel. It can reach really, really deep. I have some various sizes of those also. Um, I have my lug brush for me to go in and scrub the lug nuts and then a separate wheel wash mitt for me to scrub the face and what I can reach in like the, the brake caliper and stuff like that. One more essential piece of equipment that I use every single day is my foam gun. Now there's so many foam guns on the market out there. This one happens to be the super cheap, like $17 one off Amazon. I have like eight of these things. They work good enough for us. And now I have it on a Chemical Guys bottle right here. I happened to pick up a bunch of those a long time ago and had the bottle laying around. One last piece of equipment that may be a little bit unusual is an electric leaf blower. Yeah, right here. I bought this one on Amazon also, and these work fantastic to help you dry the car. So after we wash and rinse the car, I pull it into some shade or into my garage here, and I blow probably 80 to 85% of the water off and that makes drying the car much, much faster and easier and produces a better result. So that's the basic equipment that I use every day to wash the exterior of the car. Now we need to move on to chemicals. Please don't mind how unorganized my detailing cabinet is, but we have all sorts of chemicals for all different situations. But for exteriors, it's very simple. I need a really good car washing soap and then I need a really good detailing spray or spray wax. Oh, and then I almost forgot, at the end we need a nice tire shine. Let's get these buckets ready to go. So here's my car washing soap. So I added my soap right there to my soapy wash bucket, and then I also am gonna add some soap to my wheel bucket here. Once I throw the soap in, we gotta fill them up with water. And it's a little bit chilly out, so I'm gonna turn on my warm water. So while the buckets fill up with water, I'm gonna keep you guys up to date on my Porsche Cayman. Now in the last video we worked on my Cayman, we installed that ducktail wing. I think it turned out fantastic. I still have more plans for that thing. I'm gonna pull it off, prime it, paint it, and then wrap it. I just ordered some more parts for it that are gonna change the look of the Cayman completely and I'm extremely, extremely excited. More to come on that. The parts that I ordered, I don't wanna to say too much, the parts I ordered do take like two months to come in. You guys are gonna have to be patient along with me. I'm extremely excited to get them, but more to come on that later. Because we're using my power washer, water gets everywhere in here when we power wash inside. So I'm gonna move the buckets right outside in the power washer, get it set up while Faith here moves the ghost outside. All right, Faith's gonna start her up. You guys get a cold start on a 2012 Rolls Royce Ghost.
It's not very exciting. This car is meant to be a luxury car. It's not very loud. In fact, just the engine noise of everything moving is louder than the exhaust note. We just pulled the Ghost right outside my shop. We got everything set up right here. Now, I went over quickly the equipment and the chemicals. Next thing I'm gonna go over is the procedure. Now, the procedure, basically, the first things first, we have to rinse the entire car, get as much dirt off as possible using the power washer. The power washer is my most essential tool when detailing. I get like 90% of the dirt off with the power washer. The first thing I do when I'm rinsing, I start with the wheels and the wheel wells. Those take the longest time, especially when they're like the fabric wheel well. A lot of the newer cars have the fabric stuff to cut down on road noise that holds so much mud and dirt so I focus on the wheels first and then the whole body and you want to rinse from top to bottom now I'm gonna need two hands to do the rinse so I'm gonna hand the camera off to my trusty sidekick here faith okay, so the power washer is kind of loud so I'm gonna turn on some music so you guys enjoy that We just finished rinsing all four wheels and wheel wells and when I'm detailing by myself, I do that first, then I wash the wheels and wheel wells, rinse them, and then rinse the whole body. If you rinse the whole body first, especially out west where it's really, really dry in the desert, it's gonna dry and you're gonna get water spots. Basically my steps for washing a wheel, I just go through the arsenal of tools that I have in my wheel bucket here. Doesn't really matter the order, um, it just matters that you wash from top to bottom. And first things first, I usually grab my wheel woolly here and I start by scrubbing the whole barrel. And because these wheels are super clean already, this car only has 10,000 miles on it, I'm not even gonna worry about scrubbing the sidewall. There's no dirt on it. But the next thing I need to grab is my wash mitt so that I can wash the face here. I also use this mitt to clean the wheel well. Once you finish the first wheel, just do the same thing for the rest of the wheels. So now we're gonna rinse down the entire car and foam it. Make sure to be really, really thorough. You want as much dirt off the car as possible. Okay, if you guys don't know the two bucket method, basically we have our soap bucket right here and then our rinse bucket of clean water. So basically you grab the wash mitt out of the soapy water, you rinse from the top to the bottom of one section of the car, then you rinse all the dirt out, grab new soap, and then get washing. So I like using two wash mitts, that way each of my hands is doing work and I'm not putting my bare hand down on the paint. So if I need to lean, it's on a wash mitt. So that's why I use two. Once you've washed every section of the car, you're all done with the washing process and you just gotta do the final rinse. step which is drying the car we need to pull it back into the shop
Okay, so we are at the drying stage of the car wash process, and in this case, we need to pull out the leaf blower. Now, like I said earlier, I use this to blow like 80% of the water off, so uh, that's the next step. Just like the power washer, the leaf blower is a little loud, so cue the music. Now that we blew the majority of the water off the car comes a special trick of mine. A lot of people do it, but a lot of people don't know you can do it. And I, that's when I take my spray wax or my detail spray and I actually mist down the entire car. Now I do this for two reasons. The first reason I mist the car down is because there may be dirt that I missed in places. I know I'm only human, sometimes I make mistakes, I miss things. Now if there's a detail spray or a spray wax on the paint, it makes the towel and the paint surface a little bit more slick, so less chance of scratching the car. The second reason is it helps with drying the car. This uh, spray wax is hydrophobic. It kind of beads up the water really nice. And once I'm done drying, it actually has that waxy layer on the car. I sprayed down the whole car. The next step is you grab your giant drying towel. This one happens to be by Chemical Guys. This is the Woolly Mammoth drying towel. And I'm gonna spritz it with my spray wax, same reasons as before. Now we're gonna dry the car off. Once you're finished drying the car, a lot of people think that that is done. That's the last step. And that's not even close. We have so many more things to do, including drying the door jams, drying the wheels, doing tire shine, and doing the final wipe down. Once you finish drying the paint, we gotta move on to the door jams. Got a fresh towel and dry off all this water. So a lot of people skip this step. They don't think it's necessary, but then when you open those doors, boom, there's all the dirt and it looks not so good. Once you finish this door jam, don't forget, there's two parts of a door jam. You gotta do this outside part too. Just finished the door jams. I'm gonna put this door jam towel down and we're gonna grab a wheel towel here and we're gonna dry off the face and the sidewall of the tires. Just finished drying the wheel and the sidewall of the tire. Now we need to add some tire shine. Here's a quick tip for you guys. I have a flag tip brush here with a handle and what I do is I spray my tire shine onto the brush and I just brush it on. So using the brush to apply your tire shine is a trick that I learned years ago. It makes the whole process of applying tire shine super, super easy and not messy at all. So we are finally on the last step of the exterior car wash. We wanna grab our spray wax or detail spray, a fresh towel, and we wanna wipe down each body panel and piece of glass, make sure the thing is looking really, really good. The main reason we do the final wipe down is sometimes when you're drying, you leave a little bit streaks here and there. But as you're doing the tire shine and all that, you see this right here? Water comes out of the trim on almost every single car. And this is your chance to finish and wipe that all up so that there's no drip marks. We're finally at the end of our exterior detail. I know it may seem like a lot of steps, but really once you get in the habit, it goes by like that. And if you guys follow those steps properly, your car's gonna look fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another one of my videos. And like I mentioned earlier, please stay tuned for more Cayman updates. I have some pretty big news. I'm not quite sure how I wanna break it to you guys yet, but um, yeah, like I said, I ordered some new things and I gotta tell you guys eventually, I'm really, really excited. So I'm pretty much gonna wrap this video up here. Make sure you guys subscribe, click that button down below so you don't miss any updates on my Cayman build or any of the cool things that we do here in Park City while we run these businesses. But until the next video, peace.